check this out. So we're working on an 378RX this morning. And as you can see, we've got a track that has came apart pretty well disintegrated this this track. Okay, this happened after a pretty long road trip. We're about to install both new front tracks. The rear tracks have been um, replaced previously. And this tractor's got about 2,000 hours on it. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and replace these two front tracks. And then we're gonna talk about proper procedure for road transport on a 8R track tractor. And also talk about track tension. So stay tuned, we're gonna take a look at that. Um, when we get this new track installed. So we've got the new tracks installed. I want to talk about track tension for just a little bit. So track tension is going to be controlled by the SCVs on the tractor. Okay, and so we have a hose that will hook into an SCV and <clears throat> one of our hydraulic remotes on the rear of the tractor. And then we're going to come around and hook it up to this track assembly here to tension that track. Now we're going to take this cover off right here to expose our coupler that we're going to connect our hose to. Okay, and so that we can detension or tension the tracks, whichever we want to do, um, that's where we're going to do that process at. So stay tuned. So I've got my hydraulic pressure hose hooked into the left side or the right side of the number five selective control valve here. Okay, on the tractor, which is the hydraulic valve. So we're gonna use hydraulic tractor, hydraulic pressure to tension up our track. I've removed the cover here on the side of the bottom of the track carrier here. Okay, I've got my valve open. I've got my coupler hooked up here. Okay, we're gonna start the tractor. We're gonna activate that number five selective control valve to pressure up this track. Okay, you can see my track is loose here. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and start the tractor. Now you'll want to set your hydraulic flow at about five and you want your hydraulic control display for that selective control valve to be in constant flow as well okay so you'll want to get out of that okay so you'll want to click on that valve that you're using to pressure up and tension your track okay and so you'll want that to be on time, you'll want that to be in constant, if you can see that. Um, if you have it in 50 seconds, it's gonna kick off on you, okay? And so you'll want that to be in constant. So we're gonna go ahead and put that in constant, okay? And then we're gonna go to our flow time, and we're gonna want that at five, okay? So that's 5.00 for flow, okay? Now we're gonna activate and detent our number five SCV forward. Okay, and when I do that, I'm gonna get this camera over here where you can see a little bit tension on that track. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and activate that SCV. And as you can see, it tensioned up that track. Now we're gonna go ahead and throttle it up to about 1100, okay? And we'll just kind of let it sit there and flow in constant. Um, right about a minute, okay? And while it's in flow and in constant, we're going to exit the tractor. And then we're going to go down and turn off our valve, okay? That we've made on the end of our hose to, to tension these tracks, okay? We're going we're gonna to close that. We're going to close that lever off, okay? while it has pressure on it, okay? So that's how it sort of releases both ends of that coupling and holds the pressure on the track tension. Okay, let's shut that off. Our track is nice and tight, okay? And then also, if you're doing this, you can look right here, I'll show you real quick. 
on the front side of the idler roller carrier here on the front side of the track there is a gauge right there and that gauge is either red or green so if you're in the green you have the proper amount of pressure or tension on your track let's go ahead and turn our remote off and it's a good idea to go ahead and put that in float which is all the way forward to relieve all of the pressure off of our hose uh, coming out of our remote on the back of the tractor okay so just a quick way to um, check your track tension by looking at the gauge on the front of your idler assemblies and then also just a quick um, steps through tensioning up your track okay and uh, so we've got the right tension on the track um, we'll talk about we'll talk about tracking proper track tracking and then proper road transport in another video so I um, appreciate you guys watching um, just a quick way to show you how to tension up your tracks and uh, appreciate you guys watching Larry the Tractor Guy signing out. Hey guys, check out Larry the Tractor Guy videos here, other videos here, subscribe here, and buy all your John Deere parts here. We'll make it work. I think we're gonna have to make it work. We'll make it work. Come on, let's go. We need to make you need some bloopers. Y'all already, already, already burning me out. Y'all already burning me out. He's sitting in the sun over here, man.